Hey, and welcome back. This is Jeremy, and today we're going to dive into uh, something a little different, but we're going to try a little bit of Java. Now, I'm not a programming master or guru, but I do know a little bit about it, and I like to share some of my knowledge with you guys, to, just to kind of help you all get started in it, and this, that, and the other. So, the first thing we need to do, we need to go to oracle.com and find the Java JDK. That's what we're going to use to install Java. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to hit this download link right here. You click on this. You have to click um, accept their license agreement. So you just click that. Then you find your operating system. They support various different versions of Linux, even with the ARM processors, uh, Mac OS, Solaris, even uh, Windows 32 and Windows 64. So I'm going to click Windows 64. I'm going to click the download button. And this is going to take uh, not too long. It should take roughly, I'm guessing, hmm, two, three minutes. So I'm going to head and going to jump somewhere else because we need another uh, software to develop in. So we're going to download a program called Eclipse. Now you can use NetBeans, Eclipse, Notepad++. Notepad++ is a little trickier and there's probably other videos on how to set all that up and I'm not going to go through that. But I'm going to use Eclipse. I like Eclipse. So here you're going to hit download your version of Windows or if you have Linux or Mac. So I'm going to click Windows 64. I'm going to click download on this. Then it gives you a choice of which location you want to choose. Typically it chooses the best location for you. I believe so anyways. So I'm going to click this one and then that's going to start download. This one's going to take a little bit longer. This is going to take this is about 200 megabytes. So it's going to take, um, if I were to guess, maybe eh, for me, I don't know. It says one minute. I don't believe it. I would say maybe five-ish or so. So I'm going to pause right here and when it gets done, we'll come back. All right, everything is downloaded fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to head and install this. And this is really simple. If you installed any program in Windows, it's the same problem. So I'm just going to click this link right here, and it's going to ask me if I want to install it. Of course, I will say yes, but actually I'm going to say no, because I already have it installed on my, on my machine, and it takes probably about a good three, four minutes to install everything. That's kind of a slow installer, I believe, for a small program that it is. So I'm going to close down this window, and right here we have our Eclipse that we downloaded. Now everything is inside this folder that you need. So you right-click, extract it. And I want to get rid of that. Oh, wait a minute. I can't. Never mind. It's still doing this thing. So once this gets unloaded, your actual Eclipse is right here. And what I do is I just typically right-click on it. I'll create a shortcut. So I have a shortcut, and then I'll put it on my hotbar down here. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff because I already have it installed as well. Let's try to get things kind of set up before... You know this skill gets busy so what I'm going to do is as I'm going to launch it my shortcut and you you brought to the screen it says create a workspace like oh, what's workspace well typically by default it'll just kind of pick I think your user folder well I'm going to select a area where I want it at, and I want it on my C drive so I'm going to go to computer I'm going to click C drive then I'm going to hit make a folder and I'm just going to call it um, Java or we'll call it Java I'm going to call mine Java Toots. You can call your Java whatever you want to. So I'm going to hit OK. So now everything I make, nope, I put it in mods folder. Hold on one second. That didn't do what I wanted to do. I said my computer here. Oh, sorry, you got to hit make folder here. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, Java Toots. We should hit OK. Now it should be and my C drive. So we'll just double check real quick. My computer, C drive, and we got Java dudes right there. Awesome. So we'll hit uh, OK. Now there was a checkbox before I hit OK that says you can make this your default location. I didn't do that because I have different folders for different things in Java. So you're brought to this screen. I'm just going to make it full screen. And you can do overview, tutorials, samples, or excuse me, samples, and what's new. If you, you want to try that out, feel free to. I'm not. So I'm going to close this. And you're probably looking at here like, what is all this? Wow, it's just kind of a blank thing. What do I do? Well, here I'm going to show you how to get a very simple, your very first program going so you can feel like you're a programmer. 
So here you have what's called the package explorer. Um, this is where like all your files and folders you're going to make are kind of going to live here. This area right here in the middle, it's kind of blank. Maybe you can see my mouse move or not. It's kind of white on white. I'm not sure if you see that well, but this is where all your code's going to be. Over here is your outline. I don't use this very often, but you'll see like when we get into classes and stuff like that, you'll see your classes pop up over here and uh, other odds and ends. And down here where it says you got problems, Java docs and, and declarations. Problems are going to show you if there's problems with your code. So that's just a kind of a quick overview. We'll deal with more of this later on. So let's get started. Let's make our very first program. And so to do this, we're going to hit File, New. We're going to hit um, Project. And, oops. Actually, we're going to make a Java project. So let's do this again. Let's go File, New, Java Project. Okay, so here we're going to give it a project name. So I'm going to give it uh, what I learned. We'll call it Hello World. And everything else on here, you don't have to mess with. Just type, just give it a project name. Hit finish. And it'll create you a, a project. So inside this project, we have a source file, which is where all our code's going to go, and the Java library, basically. So we're going to right-click on the source, new. We're going to make a class for it. So within this class, we're going to, this is going to be the actual name of the program. So again, I'm just going to call it Hello World. Or not World, hello. Hello World. Just because it's, I don't know, your first one, and that's usually what, when you take classes, that's what they teach you. So we're going to hit Finish, and it's going to generate some code for us. So we got this public class, Hello World. And we'll get into the meat of this later on, but for right now, we're going to type in our very first Java code. We're actually going to get something to print. So we're going to do System dot out dot print so inside here we're gonna type in hello world hello world and give it a couple exclamation points and at the very end since this is a statement we're gonna give we're gonna end it with with a semicolon okay oh we are missing one thing we're missing a I think it's called a method or our main method we're missing. So which is system Okay, we got we gotta type this in. Mom I do apologize. Public st uh, static void main strings square brackets args and then here <laughs> we're going to let me fix this up real quick. I do apologize. Okay. So what so what this does, this is the um your method header. So basically what this does is says, okay, Java, we're gonna start our app, we're gonna start right here. Then so the program's gonna start and it's gonna hit this first line, be like, oh, it's a print statement, so we're gonna print to the screen. So we hit Control S for save, and this little play button right here, we're gonna hit play, and our message pops up right there. Hello world. There you go. Simple. I think we took more time downloading stuff than it was to write this very first simple program. So basically, uh, well, how long? Eight minutes maybe, and bam, you're up and running. You can write your first program. And the next episode, or next video or tutorial, I'm gonna make. We're gonna to dive in a little bit more of um, kind of talking about the um, parts of Java just to kind of give a little more overview of what's going on so until then you guys have good luck doing this downloading everything I'm gonna try to put all the links in the description for you so make sure you hit like subscribe all that good stuff help me out let me know if I'm doing a good job or not. Until then, we'll see you guys later.